Hi guys. I'm here today with a few things that I got in Sainsbury's and Asda. My name's Fawn and this is my channel and it's a happy place as always. Um, if you are a happy person or you just need a bit of a lift, then this might be the channel for you. If so, please give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave a comment. <laughs> you might have caught me doing that. <laughs> I just spotted the horses racing around the field just at the corner of my eye. And I thought, where is that? It's the horses. They're enjoying the day. It's been quite a dry weekend. Today is Sunday. Um, and yeah, they're having fun. So anyway, let me show you what I picked up. Now, I didn't pick up much, just a couple of things in each shop. So that's why I'm combining them together. Sainsbury's were having a little bit of a sale. So I did pick up one sale item, which was this shirt, check shirt. You know, I, I love a check shirt. And I thought this one was really nice. I like the combination of the sort of mauvey pink and green. I don't really see myself wearing it as a shirt per se. I see myself wearing it over things like this one, although this one's got a slogan on it. But, you know, I, I can see myself wearing it almost as a kind of jacket. This was reduced half price from £16 to £8. Now a new item that they had that I picked up was a pair of shorts, I know. I'm getting ahead of the game, aren't I? But I thought these were lovely. Look, navy, spotty, they're baggy, floofy ones, uh, tie belt on them elasticated on the back now they may look dreadful on me because I haven't tried any of these things yet but I thought they looked really nice and you know navy polka dot you can put with just about anything they also have pockets and they were 16 pounds and then the last thing that I picked up which I won't bother to try on for you but I'll just show you any was a two pair of their crop leggings I like crop leggings in the summer and they're doing them at the moment where you have a black pair and a sort of a I don't know if it's meant to be leopard print. I really couldn't tell you. But I like the neutralness of the colours. They'll go with so, so many things. As I say, I won't bother trying these on for you. Leggings are leggings, right? Um, but I always get a pair of crop. Now, they've got these ones. And they've also got them where the, the contrasting one is like a blue flower. I didn't go for the blue flower. I just thought nice and neutral. But they're, just, oh, they're so good. I really like a crop legging. So that was it for Sainsbury's. There were other things bought, I have to say, but they were things for the grandchildren. I bought, I think, a top for my daughter. Right? You know, it was it was a general shop. But I happened to come out with three things for me. I don't need a lot at the moment, to be fair. Then, whoops. Then I was doing an Asda shop. This was for the children. I actually ordered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 items <laughs> of which two were for me but I liked them I wanted to try them and so here they are they're both dresses the first one looks like this it's a wrap effect dress so it's v-neck but it's got the mock wrap thing going on a nice sleeve with elastic it's this pretty sort of green pattern um, am I right in saying that it doesn't open? That's right, it doesn't open this one. So you just have the illusion of the wrap at the top. The bottom just goes straight down and then has a little frill. And this was £16. And then the other dress that I picked up, different colours for me, I think that's why I was interested in them, is this one. Now this one, I'll show you the pattern, black and yellow and green. This one again is a mock wrap, but they're taking it all the way this time. So again, you've got the V-neck, the mock wrap top, and then you've got the mock wrap skirt. You'll see it better when it's on. It's got a slight sleeve um, and two frills that go around the neck. And again, I thought it was just really cute. And that was £18. So there we go. Uh, what am I looking at? Five items, but I'm actually only going to try on four for you because as I say, why or oh why would I try on a pair of leggings for you? <laughs> but here we go. Let's try them on and you can let me know which I should keep, which I should send back. So here we go. I thought I'd start with the shorts. Um, I think they're great. They're really, really comfortable. Really, really comfortable. I just left the pink t-shirt on that I was wearing anyway. 
um, they come down to just above my knee. They have pockets. They're light and fluffy. Um, I think they're okay over the bum. There's nothing there that makes me think, ooh, you know, I can't go out in public in those. I think they work. Um, considering we have this big belly, I do have to go for loose trousers at the moment and loose shorts. And I think these work. Um, unless I see something different on there. I'm not sure about the belt. I wasn't sure where to put it. Maybe it should be more sideways. I usually end up getting rid of these belts, to be fair. But I'll leave it on to show you. And that's, it has lots of room. Lots of room in them. So, um, yeah, that's the shorts. I've left the shorts on just to slip on the shirt. Now, as you can see, it's a lovely shirt. It's lovely and long, comes well down on the bum. Nicely covers all this area that I don't like. But I actually don't want to wear it like this. I think it's too much. So um, I'm planning on wearing it. Ooh, if I can ever undo the buttons. I have to tell you, it is lovely fabric. Really, really nice. Feels lovely. But I want to wear it more like this. Like a cover-up. Almost as if it was a cardigan. That's the card with the shorts. I probably should have got changed. But I really like it. I mean, it's a turn-up, which... I wish they weren't, I wish they'd do something about that, but I really like it. And I think for eight pounds, it's an absolute bargain. So this is the first of the Asda dresses. I think it's lovely. I like the puffy sleeves, they're not too much. You know, that's a worry of mine always. If they add too much up here, then I can look really broad. But you know, there's just a little bit of something and then a nice loose flow over the top of the arm. It is a mock wrap. I am going to have to be careful because it can open a lot. It doesn't have a modesty snap. And I think maybe it should have one. I'm not sure. I shall, I shall have to wear it around the house and see if I find myself gaping. <laughs> and if so, then I'm going to have to be really good and sit and sew a little popper on. Um, it's lovely and loose. I like the little frill and I like where it comes on my legs. It's not as long as a lot of them, but it's not a mini either. It's just really comfortable, guys. I probably could have gone down a size. Um, but then would I want... Yes, I probably should have, could have. But I'm happy with it anyway. I'm happy with it as it is. Um, I think for... I can't remember. Was it £16, I said, guys? Uh, yeah, £16. I think it's an absolute bargain. I can see this with my little white tennies and a denim jacket. And I'm good to go for the day. I'm not so sure about this one. I like it. But I'm not sure. It lacks sleeves. I mean, there is this fabric here which sort of allows a softness there, but it, it's not really as good as having a sleeve. It does the mock wrap on the skirt beautifully. I like that very much. But there is all this extra fabric that hangs down, and this would absolutely, I would, I mean, I know already, I would have to pin it in some way because it really wants to open up. I'll show you the back view and then I'll come in a little bit. I mean, I think it's a nice dress, um, but I'm not sure it's right for me. I'll come in and I'll show you what I mean about the bust. Can you see? I mean, I've already got quite a big bust anyway. And then I've got all these extra layers on top, flounces on top, which I don't think is all that flattering. And as I say, it really, really wants to just open and show my bra which <laughs> I might feel differently if I had a small enough bust that I had pretty bras but like most women of my size I mean they're not as ugly as they used to be don't get me wrong but they tend to be built more for support than for the look of them so they tend to be quite sort of um what's the word <laughs> well unattractive shall we say I mean they look they look like what they are working bras not playing bras so whether i would be willing i just don't know i really have mixed feelings about this one um and i'm not entirely sure that this pale yellow color is very good for me so this one may have to go back i'm really really not sure as for the others i'm not going to bother doing a sit down and this is this and that is that i mean it was just what was it? Four pieces. Five pieces I showed you because of the leggings, but only four pieces. So this is just a quick dive on. Tell me what you think. I just, I'm not sure about this, you know, guys. 
I'm really not sure. This is a real departure and I'm just, I don't know if the colours are right for me. I love the other dress. I love the other dress. That's staying. You don't have to comment on it. I think the shirt is great. I think it'll work. I mean, I know. It's yet another plaid shirt. I have a bit of a thing about them, I think. Um, but I love the fact that I can pull them on because I'm so conscious of my arms. What I tend to do in the spring and summer is if I do wear um, a vest style or a camisole style top, I will pair a shirt with it. The shirt will go down the stairs with me and live on the back of the chair or over the arm of the chair. In case I need to go out or someone comes in that I am not comfortable with them seeing my arms and then it just gets slipped on, just like a cardigan, but it has a slightly more casual look. And of course, they're much lighter weight because if you get them in a light cotton, most cardigans are a heck of a lot warmer than that or jackets. So I do really like them and it, it does work and it's a colour that I don't have. And the shorts, I think the shorts are great. I mean, I don't have the figure for shorts. Um, certainly not at the moment. <laughs> I think I was doing better last year when I was a 16. I think I was closer to looking okay in shorts. Um, <laughs> but this year with me piling on the pounds, that's the tummy drum, as the kids call it, um, shorts are harder for me to wear. So to find something that's fairly neutral, wear navy with polka dots, you can't really go wrong, can you? Because you can team just about anything with it. A pair of white tennies or sandals and you're away. So anyway, that was it. I love my supermarket shopping. I love Sainsbury's clothes too. Asda, I adore Asda George clothing for the kids. I buy a ton of stuff for the kids. And in fact, in that shop, I actually bought some things for my daughter as well, because they're doing a lot of Disney stuff. And they had pale pink Disney sweatshirt shorts and jackets, and she loved it. I mean, she doesn't have the money to spend on herself, so I bought that. Um, but I find as the harder for, I was gonna say the more mature woman, but you know what I mean, the woman that doesn't wanna show off quite so much, because yet again this year, they have a ton of beautiful blouses and tops, but they're all cut short. Do you remember that video I did? They're all cut short, which I just can't wear. I can't wear without looking <laughs> ridiculous. So I love Asda, I love Sainsbury's. Um, I only wish there was a decent Tesco's near me. There isn't, you know I tried the one that was <laughs> a 40 minute drive and it was the smallest clothing department I've ever seen. Mind you, I even managed to find some things, didn't I? Um, maybe <laughs> later in the year I might drive to a big Tesco's because I miss Tesco clothing. It's very good. So I love, I love, I love my supermarket stuff. And this was just a few bits that I got recently and I thought I'd show you. Um, we've been having a very nice weekend. I hope you're having a lovely weekend. And um, yeah, that's me, I think. Just quickly dived on. I am going to be doing Mask Monday tomorrow. Uh, I've got quite a list of things to have a chunter about because I kind of miss chuntering to you guys. Uh, lots of things I want to tell you about. Lots of lovely people who get in touch with me on the channel. Um, and just, yeah, make my heart go pity pat. So <laughs> anyway, take care, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye.